All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Hawakakwadash, Barakatham, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who, te who teach and rule well, and peace and salutation to the elect Akim out here during this fight, pushing this word with faith, hope, and sincerity. So, um, really, this lesson is going to be about the deliverance uh, from Egypt. Um, during the time of the Exodus and how that story parallels with um, how we are going to be delivered from modern day Egypt being America, okay? And how um, really the Lord had it prophesied to where it would be a mystery to those that do not understand the significance of spiritual Egypt and spiritual Sodom um, and how that even relates to um in the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, how we were going to be uh, brought to Egypt again in ships, being those slave ships, those transatlantic slave, slave ships, uh, along with other centuries in which we were in slavery, um, here to modern day Egypt as well. So um, really the point of, of emphasis is just understanding that deliverance is nigh. Um, that's something else that during uh, the time of the Passover is um, after uh, or throughout the, the Passover, the thought was on deliverance uh, because at that time, of course, uh, we were led out of Egypt. Um, and, and that's exactly what we look forward to. Um, the reason why we continue to do the work so diligently uh, to uh, continue to you know, purge out you know, the, the leaven you know, within our thoughts you know, and just having them centralized on Yahweh by Shemiah Shai and his will and how we can uh, advance, you know, towards righteousness. Um, but not only that, but being able to understand these mysteries because um, these are the ways in which our people uh, can be saved by, you know, is understanding that deliverance is not, you know, that's, that's inspirational, um, it's motivational, and um, that's part of the reason why this, this ministry is so, so necessary. Um, because, you know, we're close to being delivered. So I want to start here in the book of uh, Revelation, the 11th chapter and the 8th verse, which talks about uh, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, because as we'll read the verses in Exodus, Exodus at that time clearly was the modern, well, at that time, uh, ancient Egypt. But now as we read it today, we have to read it from the spiritual, from the spiritual uh, standpoint of it being, uh, spiritually Egypt as well okay and what those philosophies and thought processes are uh, but not only that but just more so focusing on the deliverance and how that deliverance really led um, the, the 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 catalyst of how uh, this this last deliverance you know from the spiritual Egypt is just going to be the same but um, this will be the the last one uh, Lord willing it says and their dead bodies, shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So so that dead bodies lying in the street is talking about our people, of course, not un understanding the truth of, of these words, but not only that, uh, understanding who they are, you know, in conjunction with Yahweh by Yahweh Shai's ministry, you know, being uh, Israelites, God's chosen people. But it also says, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. And Sodom and Egypt also representing how things were in the time of Sodom, which consists of homosexuality. But not only that, Egypt, you know, which means uh, uh, straits, you know, double straits, and how America is that same Egypt. Okay, so let's start here in the book of uh, Exodus, chapter three, verse six. It says, and this is uh, this is Yahweh by Shemayahushai, of course, talking to Moses, and it says, moreover. He said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon Yahweh. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt. At that time, ancient Egypt. But right now, at this time, modern day Egypt, or spiritually Egypt, being the affliction of my people, Israelites. Okay, in Egypt being America. And have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. It says, 
and I am come to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land unto a good land and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey unto the place of the Canaanites and of the Hittites and of the Morites of the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Now therefore behold the cry of the children of Israel is come upon is come unto is come unto me and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. So basically showing you that those Egyptians even at that time are just like it is to this day that we're oppressing the children of Israel. Okay? But Yahweh by Shemiah Rashad said he was going to do what? In verse 8. And I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. So that's the deliverance. That same deliverance that the Lord spoke of uh, in the time of uh, the Old Testament is the same deliverance in which we're experiencing now. You know? Which is going to be the change of uh, uh, Esau's rulership being uh, uh, taken out Okay, and then the, the 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 nation of Israel, specifically the elect, being established forever, but through taking out of the uh, out of spiritually Egypt, okay, which is America. It says, verse nine. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Verse ten. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And that's exactly what Yahweh Shem Yahushai is doing currently. Okay? Through waking us up, through uh, uh, giving us the, the knowledge that is necessary to actually escape, you know, the clutches of ba uh, Babylon or the clutches of that bondage again being Egypt. Okay? Because all of these things are just to show you historically how during those times that it was prophesied that we were going to be taken out of Egypt. Okay. But as we read, I'm going to read this in Exodus 7 and 3. It says, And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you that I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth mine, in it, so like it, and bring forth mine armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgments. And that's exactly what's going to happen here to, to America as well. Great judgments are going to happen on the face of this earth. Okay. Specifically talking about thermonuclear judgments. Okay. From in the form of uh, ICBM missiles. Okay. So, and then bringing forth his armies are talking about those uh, chariots of the Lord coming back, th those multitudes of chariots. Okay. So just as it was in, in, in ancient Egypt, it's going to be here in modern Egypt, which being America. Okay. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. It says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And thereby, and Salaki, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Now, that Egypt is talking about America. It says they're going to bring thee into Egypt again with ships, you know, because we, we were brought out of Egypt, okay, uh, during the time of an exodus, okay? But now it says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Those ships are talked about, talking about those transatlantic slave ships, okay? Also going to show you how in the book of Revelation, as it reads, um, let's go up here. Just going to touch on this a little bit. This is Revelation 11 and 3. It says, And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. Okay? So, so yeah, the, the men of the Lord are the only ones that are going to do that. Okay? These are the only ones that, that were inflicted in, in this slavery. Okay? All right? Being, being uh, brought in cargo slave ships. Okay? Israelites. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? So now let's let's talk about the deliverance because really that was just to kind of lay out a, uh, a foundation of what in the scriptures Egypt was spiritually and, and is today. But not only that, how there was a deliverance from Egypt. And that's really the focus because by us being delivered, um, that's also a part of, of the Passover. You know, it, it was a celebration after knowing that Yahweh Shemir passed over us. Okay. So this is um, this is Jeremiah chapter twenty three, 
verse 5, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall prosper, so like it, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is the and this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days cometh, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Okay, it says it says they're not going to say that anymore. Okay, but verse eight says, But the Lord liveth which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all the countries, whether I had driven them and they shall dwell in their own land. So once again, that north country is talking about who? Egypt or, or America or North America specifically. Okay. Let's read that again. It says, but the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of of the house of Israel out of the north country because that north country is where in Deuteronomy 28 and 68 we were led again in ships by that being uh, modern day America but in the form of Egypt you know as far as spiritually because that's exactly where we were led back to we were led back to a, a ancient form of, uh, of, of Egypt okay which is basically spiritually bonded and, and being oppressed. Okay. But deliverance also came from us going out of Egypt. Okay. So let's continue that. This is Jeremiah 23 and eight, but the Lord liveth with which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the North country, North America, and from all countries, whether I had driven them because why the Lord, Yahweh by Shemir Rashi, scattered us okay through through uh, uh different slave trades okay and and through that we would gather uh we would be gathered from other countries where we where we were scattered okay it says and they shall dwell in their own land so that's talking about the return of yahweh by shimiao shai and him putting us back in our own land okay just as we were delivered out of uh ancient egypt okay couple more verses here this is uh jeremiah 16 and 13 it says therefore will i cast you out of this land and into a land that ye knew not neither ye nor your fathers and there shall ye serve other gods day and night where i will not show you favor therefore behold the day is come saith the lord that it shall no more be said the lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands, whether he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So once again, the, the land in which our fathers had anciently, okay, is the land of Israel, okay, and that's the same land in which we're going to be brought back again. But just from this spiritual Egypt being America, a.k.a. Babylon, okay? Because all of those are synonymous, okay? Because it's, it's uh, that's why it says spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Spiritually Sodom and, and all of the abominations in which are, are done that against Yahweh by Shemir Abishai physically. And then, of course, the, uh, the, the, the straits, the difficulty, and the oppression in which Egypt... Uh, actually had in ancient time and how this modern day Egypt has the same. Okay. But, but it's going to be said that, that we were brought from these lands. Okay. From that North. Okay. And from all the other places in which we were scattered. Okay. Just as a, a, a remembrance of how the prophecy of us during the Passover and rehearsing the Passover, all of these acts are that it also led to deliverance. You know, so so that's really that's really the message is that you know as we were were, were uh, passed over, um, the, the 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 following days after the the the, the, the plagues uh, had settled, we were we were delivered out of out of Egypt. You know, and and and, and that that should be the that should be the the inspiration coming out of uh, coming out of this Egypt. Okay, knowing that 
you know, this could very well be the time in which we could be delivered. This is, um, yep, we'll read this too. This is Jeremiah 32 and 21. Yep, let me let me read 20. Yep, it says, uh, Jeremiah 32 and 20, which has set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, even unto this day, and and in is and in Israel and among other men, and has made thee a name as it is this day, and has brought forth thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and with wonders and with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm and with great terror because those judgments are going to be happening as the children of Israel the elect being delivered from uh, uh, the, 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 the bondage of Egypt okay the oppression of Egypt being America okay so but it's going to be through Jacob's trouble it's going to be through the hour of temptation it's going to be through martial law it's going to be through a uh, famine. That's going to be that great terror. And the Lord's going to bring you Hawashai and use your Hawashai as that stretched out, stretched out arm, okay, to save the elect. But to, to gather us from out of Egypt, the point is that is that is the mentality. That is, that, that is the focus, being delivered from Egypt, okay? Just as we were in ancient times being delivered from Egypt, we will likewise be delivered from this spiritual Egypt, okay? But in the greater fashion, okay? So, really, that's uh, that's the lesson, you know, hey, Lord willing, you know, it was edifying for the elect. You know, once again, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom.